Hi guys, it's Artem here and it's another episode of Danilian's Ventures podcast. Today we have Suvi Henikoski from Sadat. She is a head of international sales and marketing. And today we'll learn why a company called Sadat decided to redo PowerPoint and create a better version you know, of that tool for sales and marketing professionals. So hi Su Suvi, nice to have you with us. Hi Artem, nice to be here. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So can you tell us a little bit uh, about you, what you do, you know, for say that and what does say that do? Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm Sylvie and I do marketing and sales on an international level, as it says in my title. Um, and basically our, our thing at say that is to make every meeting a success. Like that's behind everything. And uh, we have a cloud-based Slack Deck platform that, mm -hmm. uh, that helps companies to create inter interactive presentations and edit them, manage them, share them from one place. Mm -hmm and uh, pretty much to keep the, the whole life cycle of all presentations in one place. Oh, that's very nice. So basically uh, by life cycle, you mean that you create, you share, you distribute, you know, so forth. So pretty much everything happens yeah. inside that. Okay, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. Uh, but if you think about it, there are already cloud-based solutions, right? So basically say that joined a bit I would say a bit of a crowded space, right? So, uh, you know, uh, there is Google, um, a Google, I think, presentation. What is it? Google Slides, I think. Yeah, there is, um, I think, Office uh, 365 that works in the web browser nowadays. So you can get PowerPoint to work. But I, I, from my perspective, the reason why I wanted, you know, to have you on the podcast is that when I started to use say that myself, just, you know, just exploring and testing new tools, I realized that it has a lot of cool features that are not available elsewhere. And it kind of makes more sense for specific scenarios, much more better than, you know, traditional PowerPoint or, um, you know, even Google slides. So for me personally, you know, the way that I think about say that is, uh, it's not trying to be PowerPoint for everybody. So it's not, it's not trying to be like, hey, we are the presentation solution for every single case. It's more of a narrow audience, right? Like, I think it makes a lot of you know, sense for the sales and marketing. So can you talk maybe about what is, you know, what makes say that special in a sense? You know, what, what, what kind of makes it tick in terms of um, features that are not available elsewhere? And who are you targeting the, you know, platform to? Yeah. So we're mainly targeting salespeople, mm -hmm. uh, as said. And uh, the key thing really is the simplicity, mm -hmm. that it, it's easy to use mm -hmm. and you don't have to be a genius okay. to use it. It's, it's quite simple. Uh, and then the, um, the point that you can make all your presentations interactive. Mm -hmm. So what that basically means is that you don't have to make a new presentation for every occasion, but you save a huge amount of time. All right. You can use the same material in multiple different situations. Like say that you have customers who have very different needs and they buy different products from your, uh, from your portfolio. So you would offer different things and you would always go a, a little bit different path on mm -hmm. every meeting. So uh, say this allows that with the, with the matrix. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I understand. Non-linear non design, non-linear design. Yeah. Non-linear design. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, in so you have two options. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you, you can, you can either go right on the top level. Yeah and kind of show the most important slides or the topic slides, or you can go down and go like literally deeper in the subject mm -hmm. and like just go down 
Caesar yeah. Tabo. Yeah. And that yeah. alone uh, gives you so many opportunities with the navigation and how to handle the situation and go a little bit like uh, according to the conversation. Okay. So do, do I understand correctly that uh, let's imagine I'm a salesperson, you know, I'm not good with uh, PowerPoint. I mean, like I'm okay with PowerPoint, but I'm not good with design. So it's very hard for me to maybe, you know, make pictures look beautiful and make, you know, to topography look beautiful. So basically I go to say that and I create like a, like a master presentation, like a huge presentation that has many levels. Right. And then I go to a meeting and let's say the meeting goes, you know, into, for example, pricing because of the nonlinear design, I can go, okay, here, here, and then we go into pricing. But if the situation doesn't need, you know, us to discuss pricing, then I kind of continue moving on the base level and that's it. Mm -hmm. And I never go down in a sense. So basically, yeah. so basically the way that I understood it is a uh, salesperson kind of starts to work and assemble this big material over time. He's building this huge deck in a sense that he can use yeah. as a tool later and go as deep or remain as shallow as needed. Right. And I think uh, because we talk about now nonlinear design and we do a lot of this, you know, like <laughs> a lot of this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so maybe you can show, um, uh, say that presentation yourself. Yeah. So, so we don't have to see this. We, we, we can just see it on the screen and see how it actually works. I think it would be, yeah. you know, a very good option. And us being one on one, it's almost like a sales situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me share my screen. All right. Sounds perfect. Okay. Very good. Let's close that Gmail. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> okay. Cool. So um, basically now we are in the say that view. You're not now editing. You're like kind of in the, you know, overall kind of like uh, viewing panel where you can see all the slides in this presentation, right? Yeah, this is uh, this is an overview of a presentation, but where I can also move slides around. Like it's like an overview editing yeah. mode. Yeah. And if I go and edit a presentation, it would be from here. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's that, not say that. Yeah. Yeah. That, let's let's not. So <laughs> maybe you can, uh, you know go into the go into the you know presentation mode and show us how that so basically if i'm showing presentation uh, you know say that presentation i'm using my browser right yeah yeah and okay that's 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 you know that's the non-linear design yeah okay yeah so uh when i'm with the customer i would open the presenter view and mm -hmm. here I can pretty much go anywhere I like. Mm -hmm. So we have the matrix navigation, but also this presenter view. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, when you're when you're presenting, when you're presenting, um, when you're in presentation mode, there is this um, huge you know, squares like the map, the matrix, and you can use, uh, I think keyboard as well, right? You can go with keyboard left, right, yeah. you know, up, down. All right. So from that perspective, it's, uh, I think pretty cool, but maybe you can walk us through a few slides just to show how it works. Yeah. So when I start a presentation, uh, mm -hmm. first I'm going to introduce myself, yeah. uh, go through the, a company story, what we do as a company, what the product is, and then I would go to uh, a kind of like where I map the, the customer's needs, like what are their goals, what what would they like to achieve, and then yeah, like yeah, yeah, and that's that's this that's is how the, I would go. Yeah, and that's the cool part is that the map you can always see the map there so on the uh, bottom right corner right the matrix of all the slides so you can see where you are right now 
and you yeah. can also you know navigate by clicking or you can see where to go so basically a sales professional <clears throat> a sales professional could um, basically decide if he doesn't know by heart he can use the yeah this view to go to a specific slide if he needs to very good very yeah. good that's pretty awesome but you mentioned that uh, you want you, you said that uh, the goal of say that is to make every meeting you know successful obviously and interactive so is there something that uh, say that can do that for example i don't know google slides can do you know obviously the non uh, non linear matrix that's pretty damn awesome but is there anything else there are lots of things um in addition to the to the matrix uh, for example if you think about the editing part of the slide or the content options what you can do we have iframe mm -hmm. where you can basically um, embed any website remember the HTTPS. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that. So this is on the presentation now. Yeah. So when you share this with your customers, they would, they're able to click around. Yeah. So, uh, and for example, if you're selling a SaaS product, you can just get them to sign in from your sales presentation. Oh, cool! You can you can ask them to register and stuff like that. Maybe if you are at the sales yeah. presentation. Well, this obviously uh, the the browser now remembers that I've signed in. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so so obviously, so obviously, it basically, just signs you in. But uh, uh, I think this is pretty damn cool, and the way that I used it myself previously. I actually taught a workshop where I taught students um, um, to code like HTML, JavaScript, stuff like that. And I used eFrame uh, in order to embed different, you know, type of code into the site, you know, into the presentation. So I could uh, tell them that, hey, this CSS, um, you know, does this and this and here's the result. And then I can embed an HTML file with some sort of style and some sort of code. So I could show like code preview in real time. What does it do? If I, for mm -hmm. example, uh, taught them JavaScript and I said like, hey, with this uh, function, you can, for example, bind uh, to the, I don't know, button and so forth. And they clicked on it and they see, hey, this is how it works and so forth. That's how I used it. And I think it's pretty damn cool because uh, people also who, for example, have a portfolio, they can include, for example, live versions of the websites they designed. So, for example, you can, you know, show like, hey, we have done this and this and this. And here you can see it here. We can navigate. We, you can, you know, show the features and all that stuff. So iframe, e iframe, e pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. What else? Um, what else? Well, the video embed as well. It's like we have our uh, our own button for it. Yeah. Let's see if I have a have some video here. I used to have something always coming up from here. All right. Don't no worries. But uh, <laughs> maybe maybe I can I can send you a, a YouTube. YouTube maybe a clip just in the chat and you can embed it that way. I sent it to you in the Zoom chat. Can you see it? Yeah. How can I get that off? Go away. All right. <laughs> don't worry it's all good Cla yes, classical there. technical issues it's it's always it's always there when you're trying to get something done so here uh so here basically there can be pretty much any video right do you support something else besides uh besides for example 
um, besides YouTube. So do you support, uh, for example, um, you know, Vimeo and other stuff? Uh, yes, yeah. you can embed Vimeo videos. You can pretty much embed anything that's, that's online and online. behind a secured internet connection. All right. um, got a few examples here. For example, uh, if you're selling a, a product like something concrete, like a, well, like a car. Yeah. You can embed it on a set of presentation. Yep. And, well. Yeah, it's, it's loading a bit, but yeah, obviously we're not selling Tesla here, but uh, here is a 3D rendering of Tesla, right? So if, for example, I was, yeah. uh, uh, you know, selling some industrial, I don't know, widgets or whatever, I could show them, you know, 3D modeling and stuff like that. Could work really well also if you're selling, for example, a house, right? Or something like that. If you're a yeah. real estate broker or something similar, you could maybe showcase the house. You could show maybe the prints, you know, for the house. Yeah. You could show, you know, architectural designs and so forth. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, we have some um, real estate uh, slash uh, construction companies that use this feature. Oh, that's cool. As a customer. Oh, that's very cool. That's very cool. So pretty much as long as it's on the web, as long as it's HTTPS, so, you know, has a secure connection, uh, pretty much um, anything can be embedded. Yeah. All right. That's pretty cool. What else? Well, what else? Say it's live share. All right. What is that? So it's like a live cast that's, or? Uh, that's for remote presenting. All right. So and uh, it's it's one of say that's greatest features. Uh, it basically means that you can share a presentation at the same time as like you're on the phone with your customer mm -hmm. and you just send this link mm -hmm. to their email or mm -hmm. well you can even send this with a text message open this with your mobile phone yeah send it out and they just click the link and once you change the slide the slide changes in their device okay, okay. And, yeah and it's not using um uh, screen share but it's using uh just it's like it's only transferring the html website in a way or that like the page mm -hmm. so that means it's much lighter mm -hmm. so um maybe you notice that it uh, downloaded the, the whole presentation here in the uh, like the, the browser yeah memory thing yeah so uh, it's already there it's already loaded so every time you change a slide it's already been loaded so it changes really quickly yeah so basically uh, let me just make sure I understand so if I'm a sales professional and I call a customer and for example, he's not or she's not very technical. She's like, I don't know what Teams is, you know, you know, what is Zoom? I don't know, whatever. And you're like, okay, fine. Just open this link in your, like, just send the link via email. And he or she opens the link, it opens the presentation, loads it in the background so that, uh, you know, the whole presentation is loaded right away. And then mm -hmm. I kind of uh, basically my presentation and and his or her presentation will be linked together and I will be in the driving seat. So when I change slide, the slide changes for him or her. So I can be on the yeah. phone and I'm, can be, I can be like, hey, this is our latest, I don't know, Tesla model or whatever. And then you move to that slide. He sees the slide and then he's like, oh, yeah, I see. This is how it looks. And you're like, yeah you know this is the features that we got and so forth so you can basically do screen sharing without screen sharing yeah and uh, the great thing about it as well is that nobody sees this stuff that you're doing like yeah. they don't see you copying a link they don't they don't see you 
switching a slide they can't see you like going around but like where is this thing yeah they only see what you show them yeah yeah okay okay so basically uh, you know you don't have obviously like video connection then maybe you're using just the phone so they just see hear your voice pretty much and then see the slides and that's it yeah yeah that's... yeah but i i use this uh in in video meetings as well all right because it's it's just so much lighter than sharing my screen because it always feels like like whenever i'm sharing the screen and because sometimes we have to do that because we're selling a SaaS product yeah. so it it demands demoing sometimes yeah of course but i never use screen share if i don't have to okay okay so yeah. i forced you now okay. to use screen share that's good yeah <laughs> okay so and my computer is starting to fly soon <laughs> okay okay so what so basically it doesn't require as much bandwidth so if you have a slower connection it will be you know better than screen sharing and also yeah. you don't show your private stuff so for example yeah. here we see that you're a marketing professional we already see that you use timer, you use fresh sales, <laughs> yeah. and so forth. So basically, yeah, you, you know, can see all my secrets here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously, those are all very known tools. So it, it's it's yeah. nothing nothing secret. It's all good. Just you know, just makes us see that you know you do a lot of marketing and you do some PPC and so forth. So good stuff. We learn a little bit about you. But basically, say that allows you to kind of skip that and just show this presentation, nothing else. You don't have to worry about notification popping up and you know your wife writing to you like why didn't you buy that milk and you're like oh my god i'm so embarrassed <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah okay. I, I think I, I just got a message uh on slack like a couple of minutes ago ah. I, I couldn't see what it was uh, hopefully it's it's something good you know hopefully <laughs> you know it's like suvi you're doing great you know really good job <laughs> yeah. okay good 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 so uh, say that live that's pretty cool screen sharing without screen sharing um anything else that you'd like to mention because i think there are still some cool stuff that i know of and that's like analytics and lead feeder and google analytics integration and stuff like that yeah well we have analytics you can um you can connect your google analytics to say that directly uh there's a field where you can just put your ua code yeah well what can i use it for just to see who visited my slides or like like information yes. okay so just basically because say that is like a web service uh, well not uh, yeah? actually not directly who okay. uh you can um his will live in the time of gdpr <laughs> gdpr <laughs> and um google analytics is not legally allowed to track individual persons yeah um, but you can get information like uh, which slides have been used and um, like how long people have been viewing a certain slide or how many times a presentation has been visited and, and so on. And then uh, you can connect lead feeder. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you're using lead feeder, mm -hmm. uh, it kind of uh, makes sense of the data that Google Analytics is providing. Yeah. So, so we really recommend using it. Yeah. So basically, if I understood you correctly, obviously, um, Google Analytics and Lead Feeder would be useful only when you expose your presentation to the world, right? So if, for example, you use, you know, say that yourself and you export PDF and that's the only thing you do. That's not very useful, right? So, um, Google integration and lead feeder make sense when you send the links to the presentations, to your customers, to maybe, um, maybe for example, if you have a public, um, you know, public talk and uh, you just, you know, under your YouTube video, you, you, you know, put the link to the presentation. After that, you can see information, what slide was visited the most and so forth and lead feeder can kind of tap in into that info and it can show you potential leads like company representatives. It can show you like, hey, this company rep and this company rep visited your slides. So basically yes. it can give you that information. Um, yeah, it will give you a whole list of which slides people have been viewing, how many seconds. Oh, wow, that's cool. And from which company. So that's awesome yeah that's pretty awesome we in, love in that B2B. integration <laughs> yeah yeah in in yeah. b2b 
that obviously makes a lot of sense, especially if you visit a lot of customers. And then if you see that, hey, that customer actually clicked the link and he viewed pricing. As a salesperson, yeah. maybe I can use that as a signal to say like, hey, you know, I'm going to call John and just talk, you know, shop and maybe see if he's willing to already commit to our offering if he already visited the pricing or something like yeah. that, right? It's like from the sense of uh, like from the perspective of sales process uh, before your meeting, you can send them a link to a presentation oh, that has okay. like uh, certain like topics. Mm -hmm. And if you see that the link has been clicked the, from the company, people have used uh, this page, this page on this page, they spend two minutes. Okay. So they're probably more interested in this topic. All right. Ah, okay. So, so basically you use that as a kind of um, preparation. Like an indicator. Tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So interest indicator maybe, or, you know, just a way to see kind of ahead of time um, where you should spend your time talking, you know, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. And in the meeting, you would have some sort of an idea, like what they viewed, what they're interested in then you can, well, obviously you might want to ask them as well. <laughs> of course, of course. You, 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 do you don't, <laughs> yeah, you don't just print, you know, PDF file and you're like, Hey guys, this is what you're interested in, right? <laughs> yeah, now just, you know, let's, <laughs> yeah, let's go through that and that's it. Yeah. So basically, yeah, no, but it speeds up the process. Yeah. Like yeah. it gives you more of an idea what to talk about. Yeah. And then like yeah. after the meeting, you can send a link and then again, you see mm -hmm. what they're what they've been looking at, what they're interested in, what uh, and maybe if they've been looking at the the pricing for, I don't know, like ten minutes, mm -hmm. there might be questions about it. Yeah. If you if you don't get a sale, then you can uh, like kind of like you go to lead feeder and you see okay, well they've they've spent thirty minutes on the on the pricing page. This is getting awkward. What do they not understand? Yeah. And then you can ask them. I just call them, ask them, hey, was there something about the the pricing that you didn't understand? Should we go through the offer? And then, um, obviously, when you're on the phone with them, you can send them a live link yeah. to present it remotely. And, like, it's there, like, along the whole process. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And after the customer says that, yes, let's do this, then you can put the e-sign feature on. Ah, okay. So e-sign is, uh, so do, do I, can I also do like a proposal inside that and, or, or is it more of a presentation and doesn't really function as well for, for proposals? It works great for proposals. All right. Um, I'm going to show you how. So here is like that. Okay. I'm gonna create an offer. Mm -hmm. Here is my offer template. Mm -hmm. Then I delete the pages I don't need. Ah, yeah, okay. Then yeah. Mm -hmm. share it by link mm -hmm. or go through it. Present it live. Yeah. And then I can put on e sign. So what? So what is, I can. Yeah. I can actually put a CTA button for the presentation as like, it's, it's a little bit like a virtual handshake Okay. in the, in the time of like remote meetings and like, you don't really get the handshake mm -hmm. and there's no moment in the, in the, in the meeting where you're like, yeah, let's do this deal. Yeah. So this is where you can do it. Yeah, let me show you. All right, that's cool. So it allows them to 
allows them to basically sign an offer yeah. digitally. Okay. How, yes. how, how so does that work? You're, ah, okay. Sign by email. Okay. Yeah. So you're in a remote meeting. Mm -hmm. Then the customer is like, yeah, let's do this. Mm -hmm. And then you add that button, like you just click. And then sign by email. Well, now, because I'm a Theta user, it knows my email, but like. Yeah. And then you just, if there is some other people that you need signatures from, like your boss or someone. And then sign by email, it sends you a PDF. Yeah. With like, uh, uh, like it sends you uh, a link to a PDF and then you click sign Mm -hmm. by email and it has all the timestamps and and all that there so it's it's a legitimate document for yeah. an agreement yeah okay so basically like digital signing um, for the document so that's pretty cool because uh, you have then 100% um, evidence that this was signed but by, by a specific person at certain time yeah. and so forth just to yeah. you know I wouldn't say make it legal, but just to kind of um, have an understanding that, that that's it. Now we've signed, we can go ahead and start delivery and so forth. Yeah, it, it, it is actually legally binding. All right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. As well. All right, cool. I guess, I, <laughs> yeah. I guess different countries have uh, different maybe laws regarding uh, digital signing. So maybe... Yeah, but be... in the EU, uh, this is... Legally binding. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Well, yeah, EU yeah. is, is very, very much ahead of some of the countries in terms of being, doing stuff digitally, but thanks to the, um, unfortunate situation that we're in a lot of companies are now exploring digital solution. And I think a lot of e-signing is going on nowadays because people are not able to maybe deliver documents and so forth. So cool. And, mm -hmm. uh, if we're talking about the features, so, um, say that also obviously has a, you know, a free version, right? If I understand correctly. Yeah. For, uh, so if you think about the pricing, so there is a lot of cool stuff. Um, but if we now talk about the pricing, some of the features are only for premium users, right? So for example, e-signing and some other stuff, but mm, yeah. Uh, but you can get started with a free version and start using the tool in your sales meetings without commitment, right? Yeah, yeah, you can start for free and use it, uh, use it for free uh, for all eternity if, <laughs> if you want. Yeah. Um, it's only if you want to, um, if you want the team use. Mm -hmm. So if you and want some like multiple salespeople access the same kind of slides, right? So if you want to, if you have like a big sales team and you're like, Hey, we have this one account that we share to our team and we can all work on this big presentation or we can share, you know, we can create uh, proposals that others benefit from and so forth. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's uh, like one of the biggest benefits per se that is that you can collaborate with your whole team, your whole company in one place. All right. Like so the marketing team can make the presentations look nice. Yeah. Yeah. And the sales team actually use them. All right. That's pretty so. cool. That's pretty cool. And uh, when you talk about the marketing and making it look good, uh, there is this eternal struggle always is that when we use PowerPoint or we use Google slides or whatever, we have certain templates and then we work with those templates, right? Or we have to ask somebody to create wonderful templates for us, but those templates don't necessarily always work because we will break out of those templates. So how does uh, say that handle templating, like, like the colors and how can I make them look like my company slides? Is there like a template you create or how does it work? Yeah, well, we have uh, brand settings mm -hmm. that are uh, that apply to the whole presentation team. Mm -hmm. And for example, even I'm not allowed to change these. Ah, okay, okay. 
So in your team, you can't uh, change the colors because maybe designer went through it and created and set the typography and the colors and so forth so that by mistake, there is no accidents and so forth. Yeah, there are no accidents with fonts. Yeah. Uh, no one in our team are able to get Times New Roman or Comic Sans. Yeah, yeah, in obviously, their presentations. <laughs> obviously, the yeah. best font ever. Especially, yeah, especially for like serious B two B meetings. All right, so basically, yeah. somebody you know who is visually talented can set all those. Yeah, like uh, our graphic designer. Yeah, yeah. So they can do it, and then all the team you know members benefit from that design because they will be able to use those uh, settings. All right. Yeah, and then we have Image Bank that's shared. We have oh. all of our images, our own logos, uh, customer logos, illustrations, icons. That's cool. So no more Dropbox. <clears throat> so I can have like one uh, image folder where, for example, there are brand approved images. There are maybe um, customer images that we have uh, you know, gotten permission for and so forth. So, yeah. And right. you can always manage them here. And for example, if you have uh, a, an image that's, that doesn't have, uh, you don't have the rights for the image anymore. Yeah. What's that? Like the image. Yeah. In, yeah you don't have inspired. the. <laughs> yeah. 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 You don't have the. The license the, has yeah. expired. Yeah. Uh, then you can merge the old image with a new one. So oh. that in all the slides that the, the old <coughs> image has been used, it switches over to the new one. Like, oh, so you, so you can basically replace an image and it gets replaced yeah. in every single presentation where it's used. So for example, if we have like our, I don't know, team image, that's a good example, right? Because, yeah. you know, team usually grows or people change, you know, maybe stuff like that. So if you have in many presentation like, hey, this is say that team, we rock, we like do stuff and get stuff done and so forth. And then you have 20 presentations with your team photo and then you replace that and it, the say that can go through all the presentations and replace that image, right? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. That saves a lot of time, I guess. Yeah, very good. That's very good. That's, that's and usually then, the hustle. Actually, yeah. yeah? Please, one, of, on. one of the key features, we have so many features that everything is a key feature. Okay, everything um, is a key feature, good. <laughs> okay, so? Um, smart slides. Ah, okay. So, ah. this is uh, another thing that saves you a huge amount of time. Okay. So, if you have yeah. like, well, a company typically has like, I don't know, a like a mid-sized company, like let's say 2000 presentations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or even like, even if it's like a hundred or 10 yeah. or whatever, uh, updating them. Yeah. If you have like, let's say key figures or numbers, I think it's numbers. Yeah. Like here, for example, this one, this slide has been used in 51 presentations. Okay. And instead of updating those 51 presentations, like one by one. Yeah. I can do it from here. Ah, All of okay. these presentations can be updated. updated from here. Yeah. Every, every presentation that has this slide. All right. So basically I could have like a, like a master slides or something that uh, basically gets updated from the smart, well, smart slides is the name in your software for it, but smart slides kind of are the slides that are kind of like dynamic slides. So in every presentation, it always fetches the latest version of the, of that particular smart slide. Yeah. Like for example, this one, uh, we got the new feature eSign. Yeah. It was really easy to add it here to all of our 43 presentations that are using this. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. That That's pretty awesome. I I didn't really work with smart slides as much. Now I kind of understand 
you know the thinking behind it that's very cool that's very cool especially yeah as pricing is one good example right so if your pricing yeah. changes a little bit or you make adjustments to the pricing maybe slide where you have references testimonials those usually get updated a lot and that's actually yeah. one of the biggest i think challenges right with uh, sales is that usually sales people are very lazy not in a bad way but they just want to get sales they want to you know succeed in meetings they don't want to spend 20 minutes every day with the presentation updating slides and so forth so basically yeah. it allows them to maybe even marketing department can update smart slides right because they know the marketing information they maybe know references and so forth yeah typically it would be marketing and like if you have like product managers yeah they would update the product info on the smart slides so all the salespeople have the most updated version. Ah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That that's actually I think that's is a truly a key feature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that can be considered, I think, a key feature. Yeah, for sure. Uh that's pretty that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Uh, but uh, one question always comes to mind is um, obviously and that's maybe something that a lot of people think nowadays about is um, if I commit to a awesome service like yours, right? That's cool. You know, free version. I can get started for free. That's awesome. Uh, but because it's online, you know, uh, can I get my data out somehow? Because if I invest so much time and effort into all of those presentations and so forth, how can I... Um, get it out out of the system so i can get it by pdf right or what yeah you can export your presentation uh if you know that you're going to a place where they don't have internet connection okay like you you're presenting on an airplane or i don't know airplane that's a, that's a cool, cool sales <laughs> meeting you know like you know, let's meet, you know, in the airplane, yeah, let's, let's do a presentation the there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> high pressure situation, no worries, you know, we're just, you know, 10,000 feet in the air. But okay, so... Yeah. so or, or in a bunker. That's, yeah, that's another, bunker. Yeah, maybe yeah. a more humble option. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you can export your presentation mm -hmm. to your computer. It's just like you just go here, sharing, and then export and download. Okay, but I think actually the most useful, you know, case uh, use case that I can come up with is if you do presentation, for example, um, you're doing a talk or you're doing like a webinar maybe or something. And uh, for example, sometimes I've been presenting in a, um, in a place where the Wi-Fi is really bad because there are so many attendees and it cuts all the time. So it's not say that fault or nobody's fault it's just it's it's way overused so maybe i could you know kind of like um, download it all for offline use and then present from there so even if connection cuts or there is some problem there is no issue right yeah yeah it download downloads you a zip file with all the uh, all the elements and bits and pieces of the presentation and then you just unzip it this is kind of like, this is a huge presentation, by the way. Well, yeah. But anyway, like now it's a, in an offline mode. Kind uh, of. Mode. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But if you have Wi-Fi, like if, if your computer catches the Wi-Fi, then it will use it for videos and iframes and oh, such. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I didn't think about that, obviously, because it can't download, you know, YouTube videos and if there is, you know, iframe, it can't, you know, download those elements and so forth. Okay, okay. So some elements yeah. might work, some elements might not, depending if you have connection or not, but all the save elements uh, will work. Yeah, yeah. Everything else except for videos and iframes will work offline. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. And you have the presenter view as well. So you have all the features, right? Yeah. You have all the features except for the, yeah, for the feature online for... videos that obviously come from <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. 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 Of course. Of course. Yeah. 
of course that's cool and i assume <clears throat> basic features like uh, uh, presenter notes and uh, presenting on separate window and having separate window for notes and all that that is all you know inside it as well right? yeah so yeah i we yeah. saw that um we saw that previously so that's why i'm just making sure but uh, there is also pdf export right if you want to send it to the customer you know not like yeah. a zip file you can have a pdf and uh, then obviously it's not any more non-linear it has to be linear right because pdf doesn't support navigation matrix design like features yeah. that you have yeah um if your customer demands a pdf then yeah. i would send it but otherwise i would always use a link yeah yeah because you can always delete a link yes you can still edit what's behind it Yes. After you've sent it, and like there's so many more benefits in sending links rather than PDFs. Yeah. Because you never know where the PDFs end up. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Obviously, yeah, it could be somebody you know gives it to your competition or they share it or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> That's for sure. Uh, what about my PowerPoint? So if I'm a avid PowerPoint user, can I import? already my stuff that I've been working on for many years. All right, yes, import PowerPoint. Yeah, you can just suck it in. All right, all right. So, uh, and uh, you can still edit those slides inside it, right? So I can import it and then also edit it if I want to. Yeah, in the free version, there is all, uh, there's only uh, like image so import a screenshot import. yeah yeah it's uh like in the in the paid version you get the editable import yeah 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 in the yeah so how much how much do i have to pay what's the minimum in order to get the um, you know the premium features like editable slides after powerpoint import you know and um, some other you know paid features what's the what's the minimum commitment what's it's your... 49 euros a month a month okay yeah and does that get me also uh, google analytics integration lead feeder all that stuff uh, yeah all right and what about e-signing that's pretty cool does it get me that e-sign uh e-sign is uh separate it's plus 10 euros per seat per seat per month okay per user basically right uh per seat uh, what 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 because <laughs> you, you can have um like in the uh in the smallest subscription there are yeah. three seats but <clears throat> only place for one content manager i can show you the pricing here okay so there are sorry for the smallest team yeah. the xxs that has one content manager yeah and to other users. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. The e sign would be thirty euros a month. Okay, okay, per seat. So if I have a uh, smallest uh, subscription, that means three, right? Three seats. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I was unsure about about that. Okay, so. Um, obviously, because it's a sales tool, obviously, if it helps salespeople be more productive, then <clears throat> something like 49 euros a month is not really a huge commitment. If you think about time saved, uh, especially salesperson, I guess, you know, his time is probably if, if he, I don't know, does something with PowerPoint and doesn't know what to do and, you know, waits maybe two, three hours, you probably paid double that at the minimum. So basically, if you save their time, you kind of save money. But I like the free version as well. So you can get your hands dirty, so to speak. You can, you know, check it out, see how it works, make maybe initial mistakes and try it out in the meeting. And I, I think yeah. the whole nonlinear design is kind of something you have to get used to a little bit because it's very non-traditional and you have to change your thinking a little bit because you're like, hey, I can construct it in so many ways. The only feature, <clears throat> to be honest, that I'm missing from say that uh, because I think it's really awesomely, very cool, I think software, but if I share the link, if I share the link or a challenge maybe that I have and maybe you can help me solve it with say that, 
So if I, if I have this huge presentation, let's imagine that I have been working on a really huge presentation and I worked on a presentation that has a lot of info that I'm not wanting or willing to share publicly. So let's say I have their enterprise pricing or I have testimonials or, uh, or um, you know, client projects that client gave me permission to disclose during a private meeting, but not disclose publicly, for example. So I have part of the presentation that is very no, no for public use. So most of it is very good, you know, put it in the world, you know, put it out there. It's all good, but part of it is not okay to be shared. So if I make that presentation and I share the link, he will be able to access all the slides. I cannot tell, you know, in the link, I cannot in, in any way control what he will see. So basically only thing that I can do is duplicate my presentation, remove the slides that I don't want to show him and then click share, right? And share that presentation. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So you have your solution. <laughs> yeah, I have my solution. I have my solution. I, I just wish that I could mark I could mark um, slides as you know private slides and then when I share them they never get shown so from that perspective it would be I think a cool feature because then I could share you know the links and not worry about you know just duplicating or forgetting to duplicate or duplicating and forgetting to remove some slides but again uh, you know, obviously you are developing, working further. Maybe someday it will be, you know, available. Who knows? Always, I guess. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, yeah I will definitely give this feedback to our developing team. Thank you very much. So, right. I think um, we're, I think we came full circle in the sense that we started with a brief description and now we've gone through everything and I think I even myself as I say that user now better understand some of the features of say that I think it you know makes a lot of sense I really love that there is a free version obviously we live in a you know freemium economy so every single I guess uh, service nowadays has to offer some sort of free version but I think in say that it's not as crippling uh, the limits as in many other platforms but I really appreciate, I really appreciate your time, Suvi. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank it's you. been a pleasure. And um, hopefully we'll get more people interested in say that maybe they can get started with a free account, see if it helps them close more deals. And I really appreciate your demoing very, very thoroughly your platform. I think it's been really good. It's much better than just, you know, talking. It's uh, me as a practical person, I like to see how it actually works. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Yes. And thank you for inviting me. Thank you very much. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.